Hey guys, it's Mercer from Kiwi Banana here. Today is Wednesday the 22nd of April and so I got home from work today and I thought I would um, confess something to you. Now from a young age, I don't know why they call it young, okay it could be to some, could be not to others. I got my first job when I was 11. And since then, I have worked pretty much all my life. I probably have been in the job market, shall I say, very really longer than, um, than even my father. <laughs> that is a a video for another day and I've done numerous amount of jobs when so I've, I've worked in quite a few different industries and some of these industries are probably going to disgust you and they're not very vegan at all so first job when I was 11 was like a paper round I did, I did some gardening for somebody and worked in like a school tuck shop um, and then I moved from where I was living to um, to another area and then I started working at a subway and this is a subway where you go in and you say I want a six inch subway garlic and my cheese and beef and lettuce and tomato and off and all the other stuff. So I was a sandwich artist for a number of years. Um, it was interesting. I was going through probably quite a hard time um, in my life and I, I enjoyed a lot of the people I worked with. I didn't enjoy the customer club, yeah, customer sandwich artist experience. Maybe some of these things I could do videos of in the future. Um, I also, straight after I, pretty much after I left that job, oh no, there was a job that I did um, during that time that I was working at Subway. So there's been periods in my life where I've had two or three jobs at the same time. And I worked at an abattoir's. I was about 15, I worked in abattoirs. Now for any of you who don't know what an abattoir is, it's a place that animals go to die. So that then they can be on your plate to eat, if you so choose. So yeah, I was not physically involved with the killing of the animals. I was doing bits and bobs like gardening and um, doing bits, tying up bits of string so that animals could hang from the ceiling. <sighs> oh my god. Anyway, so I did that only for a short while. Um, so I have seen the whole process with my eyes what happens from when the animal is killed till it starts to look almost like what you get in your plastic wrap at the supermarket. Yes, and I still carried on eating animals. Anyway, so that is one of the jobs I want to confess to you that I've worked in. Um, also after Subway I worked um, pretty much straight after that. I was 16 and I worked at another disastrous place, a dairy farm. I'm sure all of you know what a dairy farm is. The cows go to get raped by humans, have babies, hear the babies stolen, so that then we can milk them and drink the milk. Yes. I only did that one for a short while. Um, during this period of time, I was in quite a, I wasn't quite 
happy with some things. I was trying to work some things out and it's a video for another time. Um, I went to that for a short while. So that's another place that I want to confess that I've worked at. Um, yes. Oh, after the other two hours I went on and worked um, at hospital doing odd chores like cleaning cars and stuff like that. Um, I've worked well after that I moved um, to where I live now and I worked at a retail shop um, so I was buying a lot of clothes all the freaking time and no they were not made in New Zealand they were likely made in China and apparently the conditions were fine but still anyway that's that um, yeah so I've and now I work at a bank and a law firm and I do volunteer work and I've probably forgotten other jobs that I've done. Um, but anyway, the two things, those two jobs that I really wanted to confess to you is that yes, I've worked in abattoirs and yes, I've worked at a dairy farm. No, they were not for not very long. And yes, I, you could probably say I was quite young, 15, 16. Um, I knew what I was doing. I just wasn't really making that connection what I was doing. Yeah, and you know what, some people could say all the other jobs I've worked are pretty unethical as well, so it's not perfect. And, you know, do you have anything that you want to confess? So, let me know. I have felt a little bit stink about it, but now I'm just like, okay, it's done. What's done is done can only move forward and do as much as you can to improve the future. So I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. See ya!